Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today um, I'm retwisting my locks and I say locks with quotations because they're not quite locks just yet. Like I just started two weeks ago and so this is what has happened in two weeks without me retwisting it or anything like that. So today I'm going to moisturize. I already washed and conditioned my hair so I'm gonna um, moisturize, oil it, and then retwist it again. So what I'm gonna be using is my spray bottle with water and conditioner. Uh, I'm going to be oiling my hair with this concoction I made. I think it's um, it's the hair oil from Mango and Lime for uh, drips. And I think I put castor oil in it, rosemary oil, as well as some cayenne pepper. Just, I made my own concoction based on what I wanted for my hair because I wanted it to get thicker with the uh, castor oil and then I wanted growth with the rosemary oil and the, what the heck did I say? The, not the chili, but that, that powder. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm going to oil with this and then I'm going to lock my hair with this mango and lime locking gel. So yeah, um, I decided to lock my hair just because I, I had already done the natural thing and I was getting bored of being a natural because I just realized that I'm a very lazy natural. Like I love my natural hair because it's much thicker uh, than my relaxed hair, but it's not as manageable as I would like it to be. And of course it's no fault of my hair, it's just because I'm just very lazy. Like I'm one of those people who would prefer to wake up through my hair in a ponytail and just go out the door. But like, I didn't like having relaxers because I know like the easiest thing would be like, okay, why don't you relax or texturize? But my hair is naturally very thin. So in, its, um, in a relaxed or even texturized state, it just is like, I don't, I don't like it. It's very limp and lifeless. And I love my natural hair, but I don't love the upkeep that comes with it. So I just decided to um, do the locks because I still want it to be natural. I just wanted less maintenance, if that makes sense. So yeah, I decided two weeks ago to go ahead and lock my hair. And I did the coil method, the, the comb coil method, because I did a lot of research. Like I was on YouTube every day trying to figure out what type of locks I wanted because I knew I wanted locks because I've been battling with the decision for over a year now and then now I just decided to just go ahead and lock my hair so that decision was a long process in itself but then once I decided I did my research based on the size that I wanted you know the technique that would give me the most preferential style for my hair type and texture so yeah and then I went ahead and did it I did like I did it twice because the first time I did it my locks were too poofy and they were too big and then I redid it and I had my mom help me because I couldn't see the back of my hair so yeah this is basically what I'm working with so some of the locks have come out and I think that's because of me washing it because they were still coiled up but thanks to the wash some of the coils have come out completely or partially so I'm definitely going to try to get those back together and of course my parts 
Alright y'all, so I've let these air dry in my hair for about two hours and my hair is for the most part pretty dry. I let it dry without these. For the, uh, the rest, I mostly just put the clips in so that the root of it could have time to dry so it wouldn't frizz or like ball up and stuff like that, which uh, I think if I used the clips the first time I had twisted my coils, uh, the roots probably would have lasted me longer but the first time I just did the finger coils and left it as is so of course like some of the roots puffed up right afterwards so they weren't as flat as they are now um, and it does look a bit more elongated than the first time I did it and I guess it's also in part to me having the clips in my hair so I, I didn't really talk much about my locks in this video just because I've only had them in for two weeks so I've, I really haven't had much happen uh, one thing I will say is the furs of course like because it was so hot and it's the summer I did deal with a lot of humidity which I didn't mind like I really don't care about the shrinkage as much like it does move and shake which is like the most important part to me um, but I did have a lot of frizzing and like I had no shedding per se like single strand sheds which duh because it's in coils but I did have like little lint balls that I noticed and of course I know that's the hair locking so I tried my best not to pull at them but because I'm a person who always plays with my hair and with it being out like this like I'm constantly playing with it so like at the end I'll see the little lip balls and I'll like break it off which is not good because technically that is your hair locking and it's like it's not good to pull them out so I try as much as I can not to like mess with my hair as well just so I don't like disturb the locking process because whenever I'm bored I will like pull at my locks which I find kind of just like starts to disrupt it if it starts locking or whatever but I do I have noticed a bit of budding because the locks were thinner than this um, I'm trying to see where they're the okay so if you can see here it's thin and then here well I have a pregnant lock so I don't like that but that's also because this is a damaged end and then this is where the natural hair starts so it started to bud and then like this is where I retwisted it because it had come undone so I have been noticing like somebody going on like this lock is starting to bud um, this one is a very good example I don't know if you could see it so like the end here is budding this is just a tapered end and then like this is where I locked it today so I'm pretty excited about it like and I'm happy with the length retention that I kind of had like it's not as much shrinkage as of course having my hair out this I don't know what's going on with that but yeah so I really am liking being locked surprisingly like I really thought I'd hate it but I haven't I've been just going with the flow like I mostly for the most part I wrap oh this is what it's like for the most part I wrap my hair up like I wear a head wrap during the day just because that's me it's just easier to do and it's cute to me and it's presentable especially if I'm going out somewhere out wear a head wrap um, other than that like I've pretty much been having my hair out when I'm at home oh and the other thing is I haven't been too good at wrapping it or putting a bonnet on or sleeping on a silk pillowcase so that's my fault like I know that I need to start doing that or I'll deal with a lot more breakage as my locks progress so I do have a silk pillowcase and I will actually start using it um, it's the thing is it's on the pillow and then it, the pillow is covered by my decorative um, pillowcase that goes with my comforter so all it takes at night is for me to just take that decorative pillowcase off and then just put my head on the silk pillowcase but I was so lazy but I will actually now start doing it um, also something else I noticed I don't know if it's mostly the hair dye because I did uh, put a black hair dye on my hair before I started my locks just because my hair naturally is like a dark brown color and I just felt like the hair looked really dead so I just dyed it black just to kind of strengthen it a bit and to like just make it look more vibrant and healthy and I guess it made my edges more defined since of course the front of your hairline will have like lighter color edges and because um, lighter color hair and because like my edges are minuscule 
to begin with it looked like way worse but now that like I dyed it and of course I'm not manipulating it so much I don't even touch I haven't touched my hair in two weeks basically so I feel like the edges are starting to grow back um, slowly but surely and yeah that's pretty much it I will update you guys again in another two weeks I'll probably need another twist in another two weeks um, and then I'll give you guys my one month update of my locks or whatever um, but yeah so far I haven't noticed anything like troubling like something I was worried about were pregnant locks but I don't seem to have too many of those and if I do see them I'll probably just twist it a bit tighter around that area but yeah I'm loving like the growth and everything like that like it's it does, the camera doesn't do it justice or maybe it's just you know how like in person you think you bad but then when you look at the camera the camera is just like nah be you lying but I like my locks like I think they came out great and of course like I said I did start them myself um and this is the two weeks and oh funny enough my mom doesn't even know I have locks she started the coils for me and she thought that um, they were just like a hairstyle, just whatever. But yeah, ma, it's it's locks, so whatever. Anyways, um, that was it. I'm really rambling. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.